Four million people in the U.S., 100 million worldwide. That's how many people are infected with hepatitis C. It's a virus you can get from blood transfusions given before 1990, shared needles, unclean tattoo needles, and sometimes sex. In many cases, it leads to cirrhosis of the liver and eventually liver cancer. Standard treatment only cures about 45% of all patients, but thanks to new medications, more people with hepatitis C will be cured. Here's John Paul II. Paul Malloy first picked up a paintbrush when he was sick from hepatitis C. And I'd gotten it through a blood transfusion I had in 1978. Like many people with the hepatitis C virus, Paul didn't have symptoms for many years. But when they hit, he got very, very ill. And when the results came back, he told me I was end stage liver disease, which means I need a liver. A transplant. He got a new liver from a friend, a living donor. But in just over a year, that liver began to fail. He needed another transplant. You see, the medications used to treat hepatitis C did not clear it from Paul's body. Unfortunately, that's reality for about 45% of all hepatitis C patients. But according to Dr. Hugo Vargas, that is about to change. The middle of 2011 will probably be considered the, the, the um, watershed moment when we finally have reasonable expectations for a cure of a patient with hepatitis C. Dr. Vargas says there are more than 40 new drugs in development now. Two of them will be released for general use this year, telaprevir and bosepravir, which are very similar. The proportion of patients who will respond to therapy will go from approximately 45% to as high as 70%. The new drugs work differently than the current medications, interferon and ribavirin. Those older drugs prompt your immune system to kill the virus. The new generation of medications attacks the virus head on. They block a key enzyme in the hepatitis C virus and prevent virus production. It attacks only the virus with minimal impact to the human host. These exciting new drugs will be added to the older regimens, and together there is promise of shorter treatment and much higher rates of success. And to make the new medications work even better, researchers are learning how to look at a person's genes to see how well they'll respond to medication a way to tailor treatment to each patient's individual needs. I was doing the black and white thing for about the first year I was sick and stuff like that, and I started bringing more color and more color and more color. After a second transplant, Paul feels great. So far, the hepatitis C virus has not come back. Dr. Vargas hopes the new medication will cure or halt the progression of hepatitis C, so people like Paul can live. If you had a blood transfusion before 1990, used IV drugs, have gotten tattoos in a non-professional way, or have had many sexual partners, you are at risk of hepatitis C. Talk to your doctor about whether or not you should be tested. And if you do have hepatitis C, be assured that treatments continue to improve. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.